As the sun sets on Lugazi town, misery also dawns on its residents as they begin to worry about the strange stench which engulfs their homes when it clocks 8 p.m. The locals were pointing accusing fingers at the Sugar Corporation Uganda Limited. Score. When they wash their sugar cane, their sugar cane there is the water they remove after washing their sugar canes. And that water, they just leave it flow. When it flows, I don't know what, how, what they mix with that water. It comes out when it is hot and it, make, it produces a lot of smell. A visit to the sugar factory appears to tell a different story altogether. The factory has a $12 million distillation and effluent treatment plant where the sugar byproduct called molasses is further distilled to make spirits. According to Skoll, the byproducts from the molasses, including dangerous gases like hydrogen sulfide, methane, and carbon dioxide, which would otherwise have caused the smell when discharged into the atmosphere, are, however, collected through a pipe and further heated up to run the distillation process. No smell comes here from here at all. We don't emit any smell that is dangerous to the people. In fact, what we produce here is only alcohol in this place. Skoll also alleges that the water which is released into River Musamia is first treated to prevent any diverse effects on the environment. Skoll then appears to redeem itself, but the stage continues and the source remains a mystery. About three kilometers from the town lies open pits where the Hope Trading Limited a company dealing in hides and skins is said to dump its byproducts. Approaching the area, the foul smell is so strong that it causes one to nearly choke. The thing is so terrible. You can't even take a cup of tea outside. Right there from 9, 10 there, even eating, it's terrible. A source told NTV that trucks from the tannery come in the evening to discharge the smelly refuse, an instant suspect of the source of the stench. They operate at night, mostly. They don't operate at daytime. So that's why it, it is smells. They collect the hides and skins at daytime. Now when they work on them, they work at night. So that's why it smells so much. Claims are that these pits also remain open for about three weeks and are only covered when they fill up. This seepage comes from the pits where the byproducts from the tannery are deposited and it goes down the stream to finally collect into a well where the community around collects water for home consumption. Yet this same place also doubles as a dumping site for all the garbage that is collected from the town council. The garbage is contributing up to 50% of this situation here. The town council says that it has just learned of the situation amidst claims that the tannery was given the green lights to operate by the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA. We have, taken, we have talked to more authorities above us. One, I explained to you we have talked to the district environmental department and they told us, one, we were concerned about whether the material they dump is decomposable. They gave us a go ahead that it is decomposable. And then, we went to the, the, of course, the neighborhood, communicated to NEMA. NEMA came and they said, so far this is the best tannery in East Africa. What do you expect a man like me to do when we are crying for investors? who we'll give our people jobs, yes? As the stench continues, officials from NEMA have headed to the area to investigate the matter. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.